there's a, a tender and touching statement that Jesus made in the book of Revelation, third chapter, 20th verse. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. That shows us the tender way God deals with us. He doesn't kick the door in. He stands and knocks. And that also indicates his honoring of our free will that he gave us, the capacity to choose. Because he goes on, he says, If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, there is the possibility, there's the capacity for the person hearing the knock to refuse to open. And so he, he's a gentleman, um, and he, he calls us, he reaches out to us. And then he says, but if we'll hear and open the door, this is what I think is just touching to me, and what a privilege, unspeakable privilege. He said, I will come into him and dine with him, and he with me. There's something all through Scripture and just humanity in general. Eating together is a bonding experience. It, it is a way of a fellowship, of friendship, and of deepening friendship. And, and eating is, is a major component of society. We eat together. And so Jesus said, I'll knock at the door. If you'll open to me, I... God of heaven, who made heaven, earth, the sea, and everything in it. He said, I'll come into your house, and I'll sit down, and I'll eat with you, and you with me. It's a two-way street. What does it reveal to us? <clears throat> if we will just walk with God in loving, reverent faith and obedience, God himself will reveal himself to us. He'll manifest himself, show himself to us. And he shows us in an ever deeper, wider, higher way. Jesus said, if you follow me, I will show you the Father. And then he said, I will send to you the Holy Spirit all three persons of the Trinity, this is just unspeakable. That God says, I'll come in and eat with you and I'll show you the Spirit, my Father, and I will open up my heart to you. And you will see me. This is the door. Loving obedience. Hearing his voice, opening the door. This then becomes the door to knowing God and his heart ever closer and ever deeper. And we can say this, this one thing right here of hearing, opening the door, and dining, fellowshipping with God on a daily basis, eating of his word as he feeds us with his word, the bread of life, this is the key to true heart religion and through the definition that I believe God uses all through Scripture about great saints, it says they walked with God. This is what walking with God is about. And the last thing we could say is it is the distinguishing mark between the Christian who remains nominal kind of lukewarm, and in the end, will fail. But just the, I guess maybe the word nominal is good. This is the difference between being just a nominal Christian, just kind of scraping by, and the person with a radiant, shining face, heart filled with victory, with power, with purity, and 
with effective, impactful lives may not become household terms, known as great evangelists or whatever, but wherever God sprinkles us and puts us, we're effective lights for him. This is the difference right here. Let's don't be nominal at all. Walk with God and may it be said of us, he or she walked with God. Father in heaven, help us not be lackadaisical, lazy, limping along Christians. Ultimately, Lord, that kind of a Christian will fail. So I pray that you would help us to be the kind of people to whom you manifest yourself because we want more of you. And help us then be victorious and shining examples of what the Lord Jesus can do with a heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.